Over the past several days and weeks, there have been innumerable rumours that Marjorie cheated on Steve Harvey with his own security. Now, the Steve Harvey Marjorie Harvey cheating scandal has advanced because it has been revealed that Marjorie is attempting to take a sizable amount of his money. John Boom, Boom Freeman, and as we saw in our previous video, he had a reputation for being a pimp in some circles, which, while adding a touch of scandal to his name, also reflected a man who had experienced navigating society's view of their side. We'll be checking out all the most recent details, so make sure to watch through to the end for the full scoop before falling in love with Steve Harvey. Marjorie was allegedly linked with two heroin dealers, and her former relationships have frequently been the subject of tabloid rumours. These connections and Big Boom's history indicate a pattern where Marjorie is drawn to men with troubled pasts. Big bang the fact that Steve's bodyguard was always next to Marjorie led to speculation about the nature of their relationship as time went on. Were they just friends because of their connection to Steve, or did something more sinister simmer beneath the surface, though there is no proof to back up the claims that Marjorie and Big Boom were? Having an affair? Some people discuss their public body language when doing so, you should subscribe to the channel and activate the post notification bell so that you won't miss any upcoming celebrity videos like these, as Steve Harvey has always been protective of his family's reputation. While others mention unnamed sources claiming to have witnessed their closeness, the rumours concerning Marjorie and Big Boom in particular Considering his background would surely be a reason for fall. Confirm if they are true. Steve Harvey is extremely protective, especially when it comes to Mercury, as evidenced by the speech he gave in front of large crowds, in which he declared that he would literally give his life to. Save her, yeah, I own music, I own this. You understand that about the way I love you, Marjorie Elaine. You understand me. I kill everyone in here. I swear to God. You can ask the Lord about me. I'll kill everyone. Hearing that, one would hope that Mercury would Steve Harvey is speaking in that way because he has finally found a woman who appreciates him, treats him fairly, and gives him peace of mind. Usually, the powerful people are working behind the scenes. According to her ex-husband Jim Townsend, Marjorie Harvey almost went to jail during her first marriage, according to a 2017 Radar piece. We were lawfully married when I was caught, and we were living in Memphis and had a lovely life together. Townsend was a prominent drug dealer who received a sentence of more than 30 years in prison for attempting to purchase cocaine that weighed as much as the average 12-year-old child. Townsend revealed his relationship with Marjorie to the world. He claimed that the FBI had evidence connecting his brother and Marjorie to his criminal enterprise, but that we had struck an agreement not to indict them. Townsend was expected to spend his entire life in prison, but in 2017, former President Barack Obama pardoned him. Hansen had previously admitted to the world that Marjorie had her own bar at the time but federal authorities had closed it down because they thought it had been acquired with his ill-gotten money. Townsend claimed that even though they were no longer together while he was imprisoned, he and Marjorie remained in contact until she began dating. I have no allegiance to Marjorie, she said, showing her hand, and Steve Harvey Townsend admitted to Radar in 2019 that he wrote a memoir while incarcerated during some of his free time though he hadn't finished it at the time of the interview. He hinted that it will contain information regarding his connection with Marjorie, even though he hadn't finished it at the time. According to his own website biography, he has a history of scandal. In his biography, Freeman describes himself as a well-known speaker, author, and celebrity bodyguard. He claims that this has altered his life, 
and rumours have been circulating ever since the shocking claims that Marjorie Harvey had an affair with William Big Boom. Freeman acknowledges that while he was a pimp, he preyed on women to gain a sense of power and self. Before we continue with the video, Freeman raises concerns about the security of Harvey's marriage and their happy family. Considering Marjorie's past relationships with the men she has dated, do you think these current charges have any merit, or are they all just conjecture, Jer? Consider adopting your child and not caring for his twins, as Marjorie wanted a bag that Steve had and she grabbed it saying that was all. If something were to happen to Steve, her daughter would be taken care of. Steve wants to leave, but his pockets will be empty. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. What can we reasonably anticipate from a woman who has dated dubious gangster men? I will say surrounding yourself with ex-pimps and marrying women whose ex-husbands or dope dealers is not the route I would have taken. I try not to be judgmental and everyone has their preference but those are some really head-scratching decisions which does seem to be the main stance everyone is taking as considering her past marriages getting with someone that was an ex-pimp would seem outrageous to the normal person but Marjorie has seen this all before so it's not exactly groundbreaking news. For her one incident where Steve Harvey appeared to get a lot of backlash was when he referred to his wife as his and his only where people thought he thinks of Marjorie as the possession I got in. Trouble on one time this group came after me because I said Marjorie belonged to me and they said she's not a possession, she's a person. She is she should about she belonged to me, but I got news for you. Hers I belong to her, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, and he even claims that she feels the same. Way about him always being hers, just that labels are becoming more consistent because of the new generation since in the end, if you choose to get married, your spouse will actually belong to you when... Steve Harvey was performing a stand-up routine at a Memphis comedy club in 1987. He first saw Marjorie, the woman who would become his wife. She arrived late and grabbed his seat in the front where Steve spoke to her personally while performing. The very first thing I said to Marjorie was, I don't know what. Oh, you are, but I'm going to marry you one day. That was the beginning, Steve says Marjorie said what she thought of everything during an ad break on Steve in 2018, about the crucial day they met. I thought he was going to give me the business because he got real quiet, he was just staring at me, she added. I thought I was going to become part of the show, he finally realised he's got to say. Something he was like, oh, I'm sorry I don't know who this is, but I'm going to marry her anyway. This... This concludes today's Vine. Dio, be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one, Foreign Foreign.